What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a dual monitor KVM switch. This is the AV Axis iDoc C10. Taking a look at the specs, this supports two monitors up to 4K resolution, supports refresh rates up to 240 Hertz, has a 12 in one dock that can be shared between both computers and has built in EDID emulation for seamless computer switching. So taking a look inside the box, you have your user manual, a USB cable, a USB-C cable, your AC charging adapter, which has a barrel connector, a display port cable, an HDMI cable. And then last but not least, you have the actual KVM switch itself, which again has a built-in 12-in-1 docking station. So taking a look at the KVM switch, this is definitely one of the better looking ones out there. I say that because if you go on Amazon or anywhere and look up KVM switch, most of them are very ugly looking boxes that look like they came out of the 90s, just kind of a flat black box that looks very technical and they're a lot larger than this usually as well. But this one is very compact and it has a nice and modern look to it. This kind of looks like your regular docking station, but except unlike other docking stations, this one also has the built-in switch as well. So taking a look at your ports in back, they have it divided into two sections here to make your computers easy to connect. So over here at number one, you have your laptop USB-C in. Then over here, you have your desktop section, either display port in or HDMI in. AV Access does make other switches that are designed to work with two desktops that have either dual HDMI or dual display ports. But as you can see here, this one is more meant for a desktop and a laptop. Coming up top, you have your one gigabit ethernet port. Then you have your USB-B port, which is for your desktop connection. You don't need a USB connection for your laptop because this USB-C handles both the HDMI and the USB duties all in one connection. Then up here and in the front, these are all your shared connections. So this is basically your inputs and over here is all your outputs. So right here, these are to your two monitors, HDMI out one, HDMI out two. Then you have three USB 3.0 ports to share whatever devices between both computers. You have an optical out, and then you have your AC power connection over here. Coming back to the USB port, this does grab power from this as well, as this has 65 watts of pass-through charging. So anytime your laptop is connected to this dock or KVM switch in this case, you automatically be charging your laptop as well. Coming around to the front, you have two USB 2.0 ports, which are shared between both computers, a USB-C port, a headphone port, and then you have an SD card reader. And then right up here is your button to switch between both computers. So in case anyone is not familiar with what a KVM switch is, before we dive into the rest of the video, let me go ahead and give you a quick explanation of that. So typically if you had two computers, you would have to use a different keyboard and mouse for each one. But with this device, you could connect both computers to the same mouse and keyboard and let the KVM route which one is currently being controlled. Some KVMs only have USB ports, but this one supports dual monitors as well. So same as the mouse and keyboard with the click of a button, your dual monitors will also switch between computers as well. All right, so I went ahead and got everything set up. Right now I have this connected to two monitors. These are both 1080p monitors, but this KVM supports two monitors at 4K 60 Hertz. 1080p up to 240 hertz or 1440p up to 144 hertz. This KVM is completely plug and play. So besides connecting the wires, there's no other setup or drivers required. So I have two computers here. The desktop is Windows and the laptop is a Mac, but that's not a problem as the KVM does support both operating systems. So right now everything is on this computer. But if I wanted to switch it over, all I have to do is hit this button right here and automatically everything's now running on my laptop. One great feature about this KVM is its EDID emulation. Traditionally, these KVMs disconnect from one computer and then reconnect to the other, but this one tricks the second computer into thinking it's still connected. This helps keep a stable connection, makes switching a lot faster, and prevents your icons from being rearranged. So a good example of this will be right now, if I push this button, as you can see, nothing happens on the screen. It stays exactly the same as it was. If the EDID emulation wasn't there, this screen would have flickered off for a second, then flickered back on. 
as it changes resolutions and disconnects from the monitors and then your icons also get rearranged but as you can see as i change this back and forward it stays exactly the same so even though right now this is not being displayed on these two monitors inside the computer it thinks they're still there so it leaves everything exactly as it was for a KVM switch, this is definitely a really great feature to have. Another great feature about this KVM is the built-in dock. Typically, KVMs only share the screen, keyboard, and mouse, or sometimes just the keyboard and mouse. But in this case, you have a bunch of other ports as well. With this, you can connect your hard drive or any other accessories such as a webcam. And with the click of a button, they'll automatically switch between computers. For people like me, this is definitely going to save a lot of time and make things a lot easier. Overall, this is definitely a great KVM. In my office, I have two computers. One I use for storage and video editing, and the other is my dedicated gaming and VR computer. I've been using this KVM for about a month now, and it's worked perfectly without any issues. So overall, if a KVM is something you need for your setup, this one here is definitely a great option to consider. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.